Hey guys, what's going on? So Linguafile and Will Stam chose today's soap. Yes, that's a palm olive shave stick in there. Look, I stuck that in there when I first started wet shaving just because I felt like I could bowl lather from it instead of actually using it as a shave stick. Forgive me, please. 30 millimeter <clears throat> maggard knot that I'm using here. And I'll be using a straight, this is my baby filly, or I call it my baby filler, Monica. Right there, you can see filler Monica. You can see that right there, maybe not, I don't know. But that's what we're using for today. For the aftershave, we're going with Panot Clubman, or Clubman, Panot Clubman Reserve, actually, uh, Whiskey Woods. Great scent on this as well. Um, for the next shave, you guys can pick from Tabac, Vijan, or, what did I put up? Oh, The Art of Shaving. Uh, sandalwood. So those are the options you could uh, vote down below. Just leave a comment saying you want, you want to see me use whichever of those. So I'll go ahead and start lathering my brush. I let it sit in water for about two minutes before. It's a synthetic. You don't necessarily have to let it sit in the water, but uh, just to let it uh, let it pick up some water in the bristles. That's what I do. And I'm bowl lathering and arco shave stick some of you probably don't feel too good about me doing this but it is what it is thought about using a pre-shave today my my Parasso pre-shave but uh, I think I'll go without it we're getting a very nice lather in here inside the bowl I didn't wring out too much water in this brush, so it was very water heavy. But I've used this soap enough to know that it can it can pretty much handle the water. All right, let's wet the face. I have lather everywhere, all over my sink, all over my hand. This is all like lather that you don't want to use anyways, too, too big of bubbles. But in the bowl, there's some decent lather. So, wet my face. Hope everyone's having a good week. And um, a happy beginning to your weekend, right? Friday is the beginning to the weekend. So, hope everyone's enjoying your Friday. Just one more full day today, and we've made it to the weekend yet again. All right. I really threw lather everywhere. Okay. Just trying to clean up a little bit because there, there are suds all over my entire counter. All right. We're good. Okay. Palm olive shave stick. This is a very pleasant scent. It, it really, really is. It's not a soapy scent at all. Not at all. Not to me. Not to my nose. Not a soap I've ever smelled. Uh, and it's just, I mean, it's kind of cliche to say it's a classic scent, but that's really what it is. I mean, I've never smelled this scent before prior to uh, purchasing it and, and trying it for wet shaving. But honestly, I mean, it... It feels like I've smelled this scent before, although I know I haven't. It's like a classic, classic scent. It really, really is. Oh, goodness. Lather everywhere. The synthetic is nice. It's very large. That's what she said. But it... I feel like I get much more scrub with this than my other brushes, just because there's so much, there's so many bristles in there. Now, I think I said in my last video that I purchased a custom uh, maggard. Maggard uh, brush. So that should be, a uh, uh, badger brush, that should be coming in this week. 
I think it said June 6th it was supposed to arrive, but last time I checked USPS, which is United States Postal Service, that was, it was I think it was supposed to arrive tomorrow or Saturday. I'm sorry, it was it's supposed to arrive next week. I think it's going to arrive on the 6th. Anyways, so look at the lather. This lather is so nice, and I have a ton of in, ton in here. I'm going to paint in a little bit more water um, because I know the lather can take it, and because... I feel like it's a little thick, a little too dry and thick. I could shave with it probably, no, no problem, but I prefer to add a touch more water if I know the soap could take it. Oh yeah. This palm olive shave stick, I when I purchased it, I purchased two, or, or was it three? It was either two or three shave sticks I purchased. They came from the UK because when I looked at the tracking, I remember it was uh, Royal Mail. And I'm thinking, you know, Royal Mail, what, what is that? It's kind of like USPS, United States Postal Service, in the U.S. for um, for Europe or Great Britain, maybe. Maybe it's just maybe it's it's just a specific location, not all of Europe. But you get the point. Like that's that's their USPS here in the U.S. So yeah, it was pretty neat to uh, see that and. Um, all three of my shave sticks were in and out of customs within, I ordered it, I ordered it on a Sunday night. It shipped out that Monday. Well, you know, but something I didn't take into account, Sunday night, our time, like US time is also, what, I think Europe's five or six hours ahead of us. So it's like early Monday morning for them. So really, It kind of works out if you order from Europe because they're ahead of you. So, anyways, I don't know where I'm going with that. But I ordered I ordered on Sunday night and they were here on Wednesday. So, three full days. I could order U.S. packages. I could order some U.S. packages on a Sunday and not get them until the following Monday, a full week. <laughs> so I don't know what to say about that, but that, that was the case when I ordered these. You can't find these any longer. They're not. You can find them, but It's not as easily accessible as they were. I really wish I bought much more than I did when I bought them. But it is what it is. I know that Paul H. has a ton from what he says, because in, in the UK, where Paul lives, he could just walk into a typical grocery store. So I guess kind of like a Walmart or Rouse's or, you know, any of those grocery stores and oh, Winn-Dixie, whatever. And he has access to those shave sticks right there. And I think there was some talk before they discontinued them or stopped making them in the UK that they were going to. And so he had been stocking up for, for a while. And uh, apparently he has like a whole uh, cupboard full, a whole dresser full, which is pretty neat if you think about it because nobody else can really get their hands on many of them and he has loads of them, so 
if you ever wanted to, you could probably make a decent profit. Not that, not that he's not, he's not that type of guy to do that, but you know, just saying he could. This and Arco are, in my opinion, classics. Extremely cheap. For the money, you cannot, you can't beat the performance for the money. You can't. I mean, not even, not even Razor Rock or Sterling's incredible value soaps can can beat this or Arco. Now we're not talking about the entire shave as a whole. Obviously, the other two have, in my opinion, better post shaves, but price-wise and value-wise, performance, you can't really beat Arco and Pomolo shave sticks. They just work. They just work. Hard water, soft water, doesn't matter. They work. My goatee is getting a little out of hand. It's starting to eat up, eat up lather. It doesn't want to let it go. It's like a bad badger brush that does not want to let the soap out. You know, it just kind of holds onto that soap. It's like, no, you're not going anywhere. I said two passes. I might go with a third. I just hate looking at my brush and seeing a ton of lather left in it. Like it's it's filled with lather. So I don't know. Whatever. What time is it? I don't necessarily have the time to do a third pass, but I'm going to do a third pass just because I want to. Alright, and for the finale, what do we have left? Enough for definitely one or two more shaves. Oh well. Dry my hands 
good after that one. All right. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. That's a nice shave. I actually have one little spot here and one little spot here, little weepers. Not actual cuts, but, you know, just little things that are, that are happening. complete the shave. Let me go ahead and rinse. on the cheeks baby bottom smooth good like I said Pinot Club in reserve whiskey woods like this scent a lot mm-hmm Pinot Club definitely has extremely high alcohol content so if you have a bad shave, you'll know it instantly by the extreme burning on your cheeks and your neck. Mine wasn't too, too bad though. All right, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy, uh, enjoy the shave and I'll see you next week. I always say next week. It's not next week. It's like in a day or two. <laughs> anyway, bye.